Disney Pixar Toy Story Andy was a young boy with a big imagination. He loved playing with all his toys, but his favorite was a cowboy doll named Sheriff Woody, and when no one was around, Andy's toys came to life. One very special day, Andy left Woody on his bed while he went downstairs with his baby sister. Once the kids were gone, Woody looked around and stood up. Okay everybody, coast is clear and his family was moving soon and Woody was trying to keep the toys organized. Woody called the toys to order. Okay, ah, uh, oh yes, one minor note here. Andy's birthday party has been moved to today. The toys caps. Andy would be getting new toys sooner than they expected. Suddenly, Ham the piggy bank called out, "Birthday guest at 3 o'clock." The toys ran to the window. Even though Woody was trying to keep them calm, they were getting scared. Woody sent a group of green army men to keep an eye out for new toys. The green army men hid in a plant and told Woody about each present as it was opened. Woody and the others nervously listened to green army men's reports. There was a surprise gift. It's a huge package. Oh, what it is! A in all the excitement, Rex the dinosaur bumped into the speaker, and the batteries fell out. Moments later, Andy and his friends raced upstairs to his room. The kids played with the new toy and then ran back downstairs for birthday cake. Woody peeked at the cool new toy. His name was Buzz Lightyear. The cowboy approached Buzz. There has been a bit of mix-up. This is my spot. See the bed here. The other toys crowded around the new toy. Buzz pressed a button and wings popped out from his back. All the toys were impressed except for Woody. These are plastic. He can't fly. Yes, I can. S- stand back, everyone. to infinity and beyond bus leaped off the bed bounced off some toys and landed in front of woody all the toys cheered woody could not believe it well in a couple of days everything will be just the way it was they will see i'm still andy's favorite toy woody was jealous of andy's playing with bus so much One day Woody was trying to make sure Andy chose him over Buzz but he accidentally knocked Buzz out of the window Mr Potato Head saw it all and confronted Woody could not handle Buzz cutting in on your playtime could you Woody no no wait 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 i can explain everything just then Andy picked up Woody and carried him out to the van Buzz who had landed in a nearby bush raced after the van and jumped into the bumper the van pulled into a gas station and Andy got out leaving Woody on the back seat Woody tried to explain to Buzz that he really was a toy Buzz thought he was a real space ranger with a mission to complete the two of them got into a big fight and fell out of the van then the van drove away as bus walked off a pizza planet delivery truck pulled into the gas station would he convinced bus that the truck could help get him back to his planet soon the two toys arrived at pizza planet bus looked around in amazement what's the space port Buzz jumped into a game shaped like a rocket. He met a group of squeeze toy aliens. I am Buzz Lightyear. Who is in charge here? The aliens pointed up at a crane. The claw is our master. Would he followed Buzz into claw game, but he was scared when he saw who was playing. It was Sid. 
and his mean neighbor who destroyed toys for fun. Sid grabbed Woody and Buzz and took both of them home. Sid was excited that he found new toys to destroy. He left them in his room. Woody knew they had to escape, but the door was locked. Woody heard a noise. He turned and saw a doll's head looking out from under the bed. Woody smiled. Hi there, little fella. Come out here. Do you know a way out of here? The head came towards Woody, but it had creepy spider-like body. Then the doll was joined by other mutant toys. Woody was frightened. Buzz pushed a button on his chest. Mayday, mayday, come in, star command, said reinforcements. But instead of attacking, the mutant toys crept back out of sight. The next morning, Sid woke up and went downstairs without locking the door behind him. Woody and Buzz quickly left the room. A voice rang out, calling Buzz Lightyear. This is Star Command. The voice was coming from a TV commercial advertising Buzz Lightyear toys. Buzz realized Woody had been right all along. He was just a toy. Stunned. Buzz went to the top of the stairs. He opened his wings and jumped, trying to fly. Instead, he crashed to the floor, and one of his plastic arms popped off. Woody found the once arm. Buzz, look at me. I can't even fly without a window. Woody smiled out the window. Buzz, you are a genius. The cowboy ran to Sid's window, which faced Andy's room. He tried to get the attention of his friends. Hey guys, guys! Woody waved Buzz's arm to show the other toys that Buzz was okay, but he held it too high. The others saw that it had been broken off. They thought Woody had hurt Buzz. As they hurried away from the window, Woody called out, "You have got to help us, please." You don't know what it is like over here. All of a sudden, Sid's toys grabbed Buzz's arm. They surrounded Buzz before Woody could stop them. When they backed away, Buzz's arm was back in place. Woody was amazed. "Hey, hey! They fixed you!" Just then, Sid came into the room holding a giant rocket. "What am I gonna blow, man?" Hey, where is the wimpy cowboy doll? Woody was hiding, so Sid tapped the rocket in onto Buzz. Yes, to the infinity and beyond. Then it started to rain. Sid would have to wait until the next day. While Sid slept, Woody called to Buzz for help. Buzz would not move. I'm just a toy. Woody glared at him. Look over in that house is a kid who thinks you are the greatest and it's not because you are a space ranger pal it's because you are a toy you are his toy all of a sudden sid alarm clock rang he jumped out of bed grabbed bus and ran outside would he convince sid's toys to help him save bus they went outside sid spotted woody in the grass and picked him up just then all of sid's toys surrounded them woody looked right at sid from now on you must take good care of your toys because if you don't we will find out sid woody's plan worked sid was scared he ran into the house screaming as woody rushed to help buzz a car horn honked next door and his family and their moving truck were leaving Buzz and Woody raced after the truck. Buzz grabbed a loose strap hanging from back of the truck and climbed on board. Woody was right behind him, but Sid stalked Scud ran after them. Scud grabbed Woody's with his teeth. Buzz jumped off the truck to save Woody, but Scud held on to Buzz. Now it was up to Woody to save Buzz. Woody opened the back of the truck and found Andy's toys. He pushed RC the remote control car 
onto the street and started driving it towards bus but mr potato had thought woody was trying to get rid of other toys and pushed him off the truck rc car picked up bus and woody and raced back to the truck just as slinky dog was about to grab them rc car's batteries ran out luckily woody and bus had an idea the cowboy lit the fuse on the bus rocket the toy shot straight into the air they dropped rc car safely into back of the truck bus popped open his wings setting the rocket free before it could explode woody was thrilled hey bus you are flying The two of them glided over van where Andy was. They fell through the open sunroof and into a box. When Andy turned around, he let out a happy yell. Hey, wow! Woody Buzz, he had missed his two favorite toys. That Christmas, Andy was opening his presents and toys were listening in. Woody smiled. Bus Lightyear you are not worried are you me no 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 are you now bus what could andy possibly get that is worse than you it was a puppy the toys looked at each other here came their next adventure the end <laughs>